And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this group game encounter between the OJ Eagles men versus the Gauteng Invitational, Invitational team. Uh, it's been fantastic to see this Invitational side pull through some players all here to come learn, lots of school kids to come learn, play some con uh, constructive polo. This OJ men's side filled with years and years of national representation and experience. Be interesting to see what they muster here. Mike Stewart on the ball, over to Matthew Niza. A little bit of a wayward pass there, and reversal. And the Gauteng Invitational team will be away on the attack. Let's see who draws first blood. Caleb Grimmett at the back, looking to carry on to Luke Shipway. What can Shipway do here? Looking to carry, looking at options. OJ opting to go for a bit of a press. Over to the right hand side to number 10, Stevenson. Back to Shipway. Casual foul. Might look to shoot it, shoots it. Oh, and just off the crossbar there. It's good to see Dean Haas back in the water. Making the goals his house yet again. Yanku Rodomeo will look to carry. Matthew Niza looking to control. Back to Yanku. Back to Niza. Big shot. Big goal there, and first blood is drawn through Matthew Niza of the OJ men's team. Fantastic work from him there. Let's see, let's see what this Gauteng side can muster. They've had some few good games against some top, top sides. Let's see if they can get a good win under the belt here, or will the experience of this OJ men's side be too much for them? We shall find out. We're going over to the number three in Brendan. Brendan to the middle, but great defensive awareness there from Mangoba Hungani against his St. David's partner in Stevenson. They've played together for years. You probably find that experience came in handy there for him. Mangoba countering up the pool hard, looking to balk, looking to carry over to Niza. On to Yanku. Yanku carries and finishes the speedster himself. Fantastic counter attack there from the young man. Current SA player, he did attend the last iteration of the FINA World Champs playing for SA. Fantastic for them to get some experience there. Luke Shipway will start us off over to Caleb Grimmett. Caleb will look to carry. OJ opting for a tight press, long range pass, but just a bit wayward there from Grimmett there. Dean House feeding the ball forward onto Mike Stewart. Mike will look to carry. Mike carrying. Nardis open in the middle. Mike will book. Over to Bangoba. Bangoba books onto Nardis open right in front of goals. And simple tap in just like that. Harry Kane in the house apparently with the tap ins. We shall see if there's any more. Let's see what happens. But let's see the Scouts Invitation side. They'll be a little bit more patient, go through their structures. You know, they haven't exactly set up a set-piece play for the drive or a double hole action, so let's see if they can get it right. Caleb Grimmett on the ball, passing it over to Shipway. Shipway looking to draw a foul. Big pressure there from Mike Stewart over to the long man there, Matthew Cross on Matthew Niza. Ball going over to Logan Dupree on the right wing. Logan gets fouled. Cross looking to drive. Two in, two out. Ball over to Shipway again. Foul is awarded, five seconds left on the shot clock. He will fire, fires, but simple collection for Dean House and a hard counter down the middle on Nardis Badenhorst. A little bit of a 1v1, big balk, big finish, simple as that. Current score leading four goals to nil in this first chucker for OJ. You see it's just a lot more clinical on their attacks. A little bit of an experience here, maybe from some of the schoolboys in the Gauteng Invitational side. Right, let's see if they can learn from the senior men that they are playing against. They can learn a few lessons and take it into their school careers. And we see lots of smiles on the players' faces. We love to see it. Matthew Cross getting fouled on the outside there. Ball going across the shipway. Shipway, oh, good pressure there from Mark Stewart. Wasting time onto Grimmett. Grimmett feeding it into Massett. First touch of the ball for him. Foul is awarded. I think he'll have a dip. Has a dip. Big save from Dean House though. 
and a two meter awarded in way of the invitational side. Let's see if they can get themselves on the scoreboard here. Logan Dupree plays himself, game is live. Looking to carry, pressure there from Niza. Foul is awarded. Stevenson open in the middle, a little bit of wayward pass. Ah, oh, but lack of composure there from the passer in Logan. And OJR on the hard counter, open on the left hand side through Matthew Niza. He will look to carry. Niza carrying, going nice and wide. Mangoba open in the middle, finds Yanku, over to Nardis. Back to Yanku. Yanku will carry. Maybe look to have a dip here. Ball onto the post for Jean Marc de Cavalier, but only finding the woodwork. And they do have a two on one counter. Logan on the ball, onto Shipway. He has a one on one with Dean House. Dean House jumping. Dean House jumping, and a penalty is awarded. Oh, we love to see it. We love to see it. Dean House maybe opting. Backing himself on the penalty there, but he will do his tactics. And it will be Shipway that throws it. A little bit of a redemption here. Let's see if Shipway can score against the experienced goalie. Oh, and he does. He slots it in the corner. And Luke Shipway <laughs> gets the first goal for the Karting Invitational side. A little bit of banter there between both players. We love to see it. That is the plan, Luke Shipway says. <laughs> Love to see it. Jean Marc carrying it up the field onto Mike Stewart. Mike feeding into ball into Nardis Barnhorst. Big turn, and it, just like that, the favor is returned. The favor is returned through a penalty. That is an exclusion going against Mr. Caleb Grimmett there. Caleb saying we need to play a drop. On the tactical water buffalo that is Nardis Bardenhorst. Nardis will also take his own penalty. Let's see what he does. Big legs. Great finish there from the big man himself. And just like that, the OJ have returned the favor against the invitational side, stopping any momentum that they may have had. Alrighty, let's see. Caleb looking to carry the ball forward. OJ going for the tight press. Looking at options, they need to drive movement. Ball going over to Matthew Cross, but head under the water and great steal from Mangoba there. The Falcon of the OJ Eagle side. As he would say, the Falcon has risen. Matthew Nieza onto Jean Marc in the middle. Jean Marc, a little bit of a wayward pass. Little Tiki Taka Polo, tap, 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 falls to Yanku and Yanku. Slotted in a little bit of confusion there from both players or tip tap polo but fortunate for Yanku Rodemir there landing at his hands and able to slot it away current scoreline reading six goals to one in favor of OJ in this first chucker ship away will start us off going to Andrea Angelucci Andrea looking to carry it forward ball goes to ship away Foul is awarded. Simon Mustard working hard and hold there, creating something for himself. Shipway being composed, slowing down. A little bit away with pass. And Jay does come away with it though. Big turn into Mustard and center forward. And Yanku Radomir comes away with the ball. Matthew Nieza will look to carry. He has a bit of a speedster himself. Does have a lot of swimming pace about him. Looks to carry, big balk, big balk, big finish, fantastic goal. Mike Stewart was open on the right there, cheeky little smile from him, saying maybe look at the open play on the cross pass, but does not matter, he did capitalize, scoring the goal. You can see there Caleb Grimmett just voicing his opinion to his teammates, saying he needs to play a drop onto the center forward. Logan Dupree will start us off over to Angelucci. Angelucci looking to carry, feeds it to his teammate Darian Salobi, St. David's boy to another one. Big pressure here from Niza. Dazza working really hard to get the ball in into Logan. Logan working hard, casual foul there from Jean-Marc. He is inside six though, he can't shoot it. Over to Shipway, Shipway to Masset. Masset losing control of the ball though and no foul. 
awarded. Jean Marc will look to carry it up the pool. Hard, hard, hard carry from Jean Marc over to Niza. Mangoba open in the middle, but great cover defense there from Darian Solovi. Over to Yanku. On to Mark Stewart. Big ball back over to Yanku. Ball to Niza. Niza shifting into space. Ball into hole. Nardis on the turn. And a fantastic finish from the big man. The Schouting Invitational side need to come up with a solution to stop the center forward play. The problem is when they play that drop, they, this OJ side do have a lot of big shooters on the outside. Let's see if they can capitalize on it. 8-1 in favor of OJ Eagles as we come into the final 35 seconds of this chucker. Ball going back to Andrea Angelucci, control player. They need to look. They hear coaches shouting full 30. Far awarded there for uh, Simon Massett. Massett onto cross. Cross earns himself for foul. Maybe the long man will have a dip here. Has a dip, but great block there from Mangoba and not troubling Dean Haas. Hard counter down the middle. Nardis is away. Looking to feed the ball over to the left in Matthew Niza. Niza will look to carry. They got a 5 on 4 attack. Jean Marc on the ball. You know he has a precise shot and just like that bins it in the top left corner with six seconds left let's see what happens here mm, six seconds left you will think that the Gauteng invitation side will have a little bit of a long range effort yeah see Yanku Rodemeyer just going into his goals to help Dean House there feels that Dean might not be able to do it himself but long range shot bounce big block and that will draw conclusion to the end of this first chucker. Nine goals to one in favor of OJ Eagles. And let's see what will happen in the second chucker. Alrighty, and welcome to the second chucker of this group encounter between OJ Eagles and the Karting Invitational team. Karting Invitational definitely having a lot of fun, a lot of youngsters and schoolboys representing the side. Let's see what they can learn from this experienced OJ Eagles team. OJ going up nine goals to one in the first chucker. Right, there's a little bit of bomb squad change here for the OJ Eagles bringing in their second seven. Let's see if they can do exactly what the first half did with their starting seven. And just like the first half, Gauteng Invitational do win the ball off the first attack. Now let's see if they can get themselves again on the scoreboard. Thiago looking to carry forward to Andrea Angelucci. Angelucci will look to carry. Got Daniel Pronk rotating into center forward position. Ball goes into Pronk. Casual foul there from the doctor himself, Rick Diesel. Looking to move the ball. Ball goes to cross. Nardis Barnos putting lots and lots of pressure. Back into Pronk. Pronk gets it. 
turns, he had front side water, but unfortunately the 30 did run out. Very unfortunate for the young man there, but a great turn against experienced Rick Diesel. Nardis Barnhorst on the hard counter, can cross stop him, keeps going. Lob City, great save! What a save there from the Gauteng goalie. Sends a long range effort, but didn't quite have the legs. Rick Diesel looking to control the ball. And see the Andrea Angelucci just calling his players back. They need to defend first to be able to attack. Nicholas Poole on the ball, the mighty number 15. Will look to carry it forward. Ball goes across to Nardis. Nardis on the ball. Over to Andrea. Andrea with the big block. Ball falls in favor of Simon Purchase. Purchase ball touches the lane rope. And the Gauteng side will go on the attack. You can see they're looking a little bit more revved, this Chaka, which is fantastic to see. Tiago looking to carry the ball up the pool. Ball goes into Pronk. Working hard. Gets the turn. Can he create something? Still has the ball. <coughs> David Johnson there. A little bit of defensive awareness being able to file him. Let's see what they can do here. Ball must leave the two meter first. Darian Slovi will start the game off. Ball into Massett. Massett getting the ball. Foul from Rick Diesel. Running out of time. Darian on the ball. Back into Massett. Massett must fire here. Gets the turn. And no exclusion there. Head under the water. You need to be holding yourself above the water in order to earn those exclusions. Nicholas Poole looking to carry forward. Carries it down to the right wing. Ball over to Nardis. Nardis with a big ball can carry. Big ball. Maybe look to dip here. Has a fire. Great finish. And just like that, that is the first goal of the second chucker. Took their time to get it though, but they are on the score sheet again, the OJ Eagles. Let's see what the might of this Gauteng Invitational side can do. Darian Salovi starting us off onto Angelucci. Angelucci looking to carry. Angelucci looking for options, finds Masset. David Johnson applying pressure. Masset is on the ball. Thiago rolling into double. Masset opts to go for the shot and just passing it wide. Luka Rajak now in goals. Luka Rajak feeding it to Nardis. Nardis controlling the ball. Pronk applying pressure onto the man, Finn. Johnson over. Who's that? Onto Diesel. Back to Johnson. Ball onto Finn in the middle. Feeds it back to Nardis. Nardis will carry. Sneaky pass into hole, but just skims it away from the sitting center forward and Simon Purchase. Goalie there. Feeding the ball over to the number two in Shipway. Shipway looking to control, looking for options. They are playing a drop onto the hole. Shipway needs to create something here. He is going for a little bit of a turn. Fantastic work there to try his luck there against the experienced Rick Diesel. What will Shipway do here? Ops to dump the ball. Ran out of time. You can see the players. A little bit of frustration there with their teammates. But it is all in the name of the game. They still have a smile on their faces. Purchase receiving the ball on the left. Looking to control. Hard pass to Nardis on the right. A little bit of a wayward pass, and Prong comes away with it. Little intercept there, and he claims it as his own. Love to see it. Tiago on the ball, feeds it over to the right hand side. In Andrea and Gilucci. Andrea looking to carry. Andrea will carry. Still moving it up the pool. They need to look at options. Center forward is not quite there. Ball goes to Shipway. Shipway trying to earn himself a foul. He, and he does. Option on the left hand side. They find Pronk. He needs to fire 30 seconds. And unfortunately, runs out on the 30 seconds. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. He did massive save from Luka Rajak. Ball goes over to Poole. Poole will carry. Ball to Nardis. Nardis on the control. Feeds it into hole. 
and simple tap in there from the doctor himself, Rick Diesel. It's like a diesel engine motoring himself up the pool. Fantastic little awareness there from Nardis Barnhurst to feed that ball in as well. You can see the experience of these players just playing together for many, many years, knowing their role and knowing what they need to do there. Let's see, uh, Gauteng definitely playing some positive polo. They're not, they are looking to try their luck against this experienced side. Let's see how they do in this next attack. Caleb Grimmett now at the back, looking to carry it forward. Let's see what he does. Taking his time up the pool. Feeding the ball over to Shipway on the right. Shipway trying to look to turn, earns himself a foul. Andrea Angelucci is coming hard. And like, oh, a little bit of wayward pass on to Stevenson, but Luka Rajak going for the safe option, scooping the ball out of play for a two meter. Karting Invitational will have a second attempt here at an attack. Shipway creating a nice option for himself. Right, it is a foul inside six. He can't play it. Ball out to Stevenson. Stevenson goes to Grimmett. Grimmett looking at options, looking to turn. Big ball, big finish, but forcing a great save out of Luka Rajak there. Fantastic attempt there from Seagram. Shipway on the ball, looking at option. Feeding the ball to Stevenson. Stevenson the lefty, looking at options, back over to Grimmett. We have another dip, oh, but a bit of a wayward pass there. Easy collection for the man, Nick Poole. And there is a hard count on the left-hand side here in Matthew Nieser. Matthew Nieser looking for Luke Diesel, the Diesel engine. Oh, and how's that for an outrageous effort? A little no-look back shot going right over the goalie's head. Oh, love the experience there. Unfortunately, Caleb Grimmett could not match him for pace. Great, great goal there. That will be one for the highlight reel. Let's see uh, what this Gauteng Invitational side can do Need to muster a little bit more of an attack bring themselves back into this game. 12 goals to one. It only has been 2-0 this Chaka. It's fantastic to see the Gauteng Invitation side have held their own a little bit more this Chaka. They can be proud of themselves in the defensive effort, but they do need to get themselves on the scoreline. Final minute of the ball. Let's see what they muster. Big balk. Maybe look to have an attempt here. Big shot. Oh, and there it is! Took his time to find the goal, but great finish there from Brendan. A little bit of a donut there going in the way of Luka Rajak. I think you'll have to look to have some OTs tomorrow morning to, to compensate for the donuts you've had, he's had today. But fantastic work there from Brendan to, to slot that past the experienced Luka Rajak. Yeah, you hear there Caleb Grimmett opting for a top three drop, identifying that the centre forward is a main form of attack. Ball going over to Johnson. Johnson looking to carry back onto Finn. Over to Purchase. Purchase with the balk. Back to Finn. Finn in the middle. We'll have a dip. Fires and just bouncing it over the crossbar. Shooting for pigeons, as one would say. Last attack here for the Karting Invitational side. What will they muster? Can they get another goal right towards the Regan Fisher? Glad to see him back in the water. For someone whose surname has fish in it, he's been avoiding the water this game. Caleb Grimmett, big balk, back to Brendan, back to Grimmett. Maybe he'll look to have a dip here. Big balk, big balk, back to Brendan. Brendan might fire again, ball into Holland to Thiago. Oh, they're in an exclusion in Johnson. Johnson is out. They do have five seconds left on the clock. They need to have awareness here. I don't think anyone has noticed the time. They do have four seconds left. Andrea must fire. He fires, but only finding the nest of an oncoming pigeon. And just like that, we have reached the halftime conclusion of this game. 12 goals to two in favor of the OJ Eagles. Much better chucker there from the Carlton Invitational side. Let's see if they can continue that momentum into the second half.
in the second half of this group encounter in the Gauteng Invitational Water Polo Tournament, the third annual one of its kind. It's fantastic to see so many teams participating. It's a lot more local teams this year, which is fabulous to see the growth in Gauteng Polo. OJ Eagles leading 12 goals to two against the Gauteng Invitational side. Let's see what OJ can muster. Oh, but great block there from Seagram himself. The mighty, and then he spins Mangoba. He is having the time of his life. Check it out, smile on his face. What a man, he is so pleased with himself. That'll go on the highlight reel. I'm sure it'll go into his Instagram story. <laughs> He'll love to see it. Logan Dupree will look to carry the ball up the pool, yeah. Taking his time, looking to carry. Back over to Brendan. Brendan, the sharp shooter. On to Grimmett. Maybe he can redeem his defensive efforts with a long range effort. Feeds it into hole, but a bit of a skimmer there. And OJ come away with the ball. Hard counter through Yanku Radomir. We know this man has some serious wheels on him. Going for the counter. Can Tebbit come up with a save? Big legs, but great finish from Yanku there. Great effort. Let's see. Great goal there from the OJ Eagles. Let's see what the Gauteng men can do here. The Gauteng Invitational young side need to muster some form of attack here. Caleb Grimmett will look to carry the ball up the pool. We'll look at his options. Taking his time, getting up the pool. Over to Logan, back to Grimmett. Grimmett's taking his time, back to Logan. I think they might need a little bit more intensity on this attack. Logan will look to carry. Maybe back himself here. Ball into hole. Opting to foul. Casual foul there from Jean-Marc. On to Thiago. Over to Fisher. Fisher will might look to have a dip. He has a dip. Goes for the skimmer. But nothing, says Luca Rajak. Big fetch here from Mark Stewart. Michael Carey. For the lefty himself. Will look to carry. Look to be composed. Looking to walk. Deciding on his options. Ball into Rick Diesel. Rick Diesel. Oh, but great. Oh. Unlucky there. I thought it would have been a great steal from Logan there on the diesel engine. But casual foul is awarded. Oh, it's a penalty. They've awarded a penalty there, believing that Rick Diesel did have front side water. Very interesting call. But nonetheless, the call must stand. Mike Stewart, the lefty, has opted to take this one. Let's see if from coach to player, Tebbit is a school player. Mike coaches him. Let's see if he can. Oh, and the coach says, you still got a lot to learn, my boy. Maybe we'll practice those ones in practice. <laughs> Let's see what the Karting side can muster here. 14 goals to two, leading for OJ Eagles. Caleb Grimmett again at the back, looking to carry it forward. Looks to carry. What are the options? Will you go back to Logan? No, he opts to go to Fisher. Back to Grimmett. Grimmett controlling. A little bit of wayward pass, but does find Logan. They need to find the options. Long pass over to Brendan. Brendan carrying. Fisher goes for a drive. Creating space there for Grimmett. And Goba fouls. Ex-teammates, those two. They'll know each other very well. Grimmett fires! And I can only find nothing but a flying bird. Seems to be a sharp shooter for the Pigeons. Niza will look to carry. Hard carry here from Niza. Slicing out options. Opting to slow the game down. Over to Jean-Marc, the sharpshooter himself, the Portuguese maestro, looking to balk. Has lots of time and space on his hands. I think he'll look to have a dip here. Big balk, big balk, big finish. Simple goal there for the experienced veteran in Jean-Marc Di Cavalio. Great work there from the man. A little bit of a change here. Oh, the tactical water buffalo has entered the pool. He is replacing the diesel engine in Rick Diesel. Let's see what the Gauteng men can do here. Logan Dupree opting to go to the back now. He will look to control, being a little bit of a sneaky sneaky, swimming the ball up in between his legs if anyone is looking for the ball. He does have it again. Over to Fisher. Fisher will carry. Fisher shoots, but finds a big block from Nardis Barnors. Brendan does receive it though. Back to Fisher. Back to Logan. They do have time. Logan will carry, I think he'll have a dip here, big finish, and another block from the artist Barnhorst, putting on a blocking clinic here. You can see just that experience from the current SA men's uh, center forward. Matthew Nieser will look to carry, he's going to go for a hard county on the left-hand side. 
Ball into Mangoba in the middle, but too many defenders around him and could not control the ball, just finding the outskirts of the goal. Tebet will control here, looking forward. A little bit of a slow transition here from the Gauteng Invitational men's team. Uh, they need to get up the pull faster. The 20 seconds is running down. They are into the final half of the 30 seconds. 15 seconds left. Right, and the ball still has not progressed past halfway. Ball to Logan. And there we go. We are past halfway with seven seconds left. They're going to have to do a decision here. We're going to run out of time. There's no awareness of the 30. And there goes the 30. But it was a big effort. Forcing a two-meter save, though. I think maybe a little bit of part of the plan. Opting to use their full attacks. Regan Fisher on the ball. He will look for options. A little bit of lack of movement here. Needs to create an option. Ball to Thiago. He is open in front of goals. Will balk. Will balk. Will finish. But finding another block from Jean Marc this time. Three blocks after three attacks. They need to come up with an answer to this blocking solution. Matthew Niesel will carry over to Nardis. Nardis on the hard counter. Three on two situation here. Is open in front of goals. On to Mike Stewart. Mike back to Nardis. One more over to Yanku. And simple ticky tacker water polo there from the OJ Eagles men's side. Fantastic work. Shown and experience. You can see these men have played together for many, many a years. Love to see it. Righty, some fresh legs in here for the, the Gauteng Invitational side. Let's see if they can bring themselves onto the scoreboard. We've got 2 minutes 17 seconds left on the clock for them to come up with a goal. Let's see what they can do. Ball goes back to Daza Solovi. Right, he has opted to play in the centre-back role, going back to his roots of under-13 polo where he made his name. Right, let's see what he can do here. Given acres of space, opposite to Masset. Masset shoots. Oh, and he finds the goal! Lovely shot there from the right hand on the wrong side, but Luka Rajak maybe not expecting that finish, but he got it, so well done there. Love to see this, these youngsters really trying to back themselves against some of the most senior players in Gauteng. Love to see it. A big smile on his face there. Good man. Sean Marco look to carry. Young Kuradamir on the ball over to Niza. Niza will look to carry over to Mike Stewart, the lefty on the left-hand side. Big balk. Big balk. Big balk. On to Sean Mark, <laughs> lofty pass into Nardis, little skillful pass. Mangoba with the helicopter, still trying to catch flight there. <laughs> the Falcon trying to take off. Niza feeding it into hole, but there we go. That's the drop defense we want to see from this Gauteng Invitational side. Shutting down the water buffalo, saying you're not going to have a sip out of this water hole. Regan Fisher looking to carry. Moves it over to the left-hand side. He does find Matthew Cross. Matthew Cross, oh, but unfortunately just could not keep his head above the water. And Yanku stealing the ball there, the speedster. And just like that, he is on the counter-attack. The OJ Eagles men are man up here with Darian Solovi still in their half. Mike Stewart looking to carry. Ball goes into the middle onto Yanku. And penalty is awarded for front side water turn on Simon Massett. All righty. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a rematch, coach versus player here right let's see if uh tebet can redeem himself against this coach oh no mangoba opting to take it now let's see if the oj falcon can take flight and put one in the top corner or will his wings be clipped by the young tebet shot oh and he does find the top corner tebet almost getting a hand to it but fantastic finish there from mangoba bungani the oj eagles falcon we love to see it Simon Massett will rotate into the hole here. Passing it back to Regan, the fish fisher. Let's see if he can catch a fish in the goal of the OGA Eagles. He will look to carry. Looking at options. Slowing it down. Ball goes to cross on the left wing. Big balk. Hard pass. Almost finding the hand of Darian Solovi, but just could not get fingers to it. And Luca will look to counter through Matthew Niza. Hard counter, final 20 seconds left of this chucker. Will OJ get a last second goal here? Onto Nardis. Big ball into the middle. Onto Mike Stewart. Back to Niza. And a little celebratory call there as he shoots it. Very, very pleased with the teamwork there. To his team's little chuckle from the bench of the OJ side. 
Nine seconds left. Current score reading 18 goals to three in favor of the OJ men. Let's see what happens here. I think they'll look to have a, a little long range effort. Shipway on the ball. I think he'll have a dip. Let's see. Going up against his coach in goal, Luka Rajak. Throws it, but huge block effort. Van Gorba with the long range effort, but that will draw a conclusion for the third chaka. See lots of smiles on the face of these guys. We see everyone enjoying every minute of this game, and we shall see you in the fourth and final chaka. And it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the fourth and final chaka of this exciting game between OJ Eagles men, water polo club based out of St. John's versus the Karting Invitational team, which has a, a variety of players across the board in Joburg, a lot of St. David's, St. Stadium, St. John's boys in here. It's lovely to see. Oh, big finish from Nick Poole there, but Liam Tebbit saying, no, sir, not today. I will claim that one. Let's see if the Gauteng side can end their game on a positive note here. With three goals to the name, can they add to that tally? Logan Dupree on the ball, looking to feed it there. Simon Massett looking to control. Passing it over to Matthew Cross. The long man looking at options. Regan Fisher driving in. Regan with the tap in, but a little save there from Luka Rajak. But fantastic effort from Regan Fisher there. Still fishing for his first goal in this game. Nicholas Poole. Will he look to pull the ball up the pool? We shall, <laughs> we shall find out. Pun intended. On to Stewie. Stewie over to Finn. Over to Johnson. Back to Finn. Over to Stewie. With acres of space here. Against his schoolboy goalie, Liam Tebbit. Fires, but only finding the woodwork. And Logan will look to feed. Hard pass over to Luke Shipway. Over on the left hand side. Shipway carries. Ball into the center. But unfortunately, not facing the goals there from Matthew Cross. Penalty cannot be awarded. Very unfortunate there for the long man. Mike Stewart will look to carry. Big cover defense here from Simon Musset. And I believe that is a penalty. Simon just impeding him over the back. That will be his second exclusion for the game. Let's see who is taking it purchase he does have the ball he'll think he'll take it will he purchase a goal or will Tebbit say sorry transaction declined let's find out check or savings he opts for check transaction approved and what a purchase there OJ I'm sure will take many more of those purchases fantastic shot there from Simon Purchase Lots of laughs, lots of giggles in this game. We love to see that everyone is enjoying themselves, no matter what the scoreline is. Learning experience for the youngsters in the Gauteng side and a good game here from the OJ men's side. We're going to be on the ball, looking to feed options, trying to suss out where to throw the ball. Over to Musset, 
Massa gets fouled. Big shot, but big save. Redemption for Regan Fisher, and he fishes a little love. Oh, we love that. Love that. He extended the fishing pole, hook, line, and sinker. Got the ball to him and fed it into the back of the net. Fantastic work there from the young man, Regan Fisher. Love to love to see it. Nicholas Poole on the ball now. Let's see what he does. Decides to carry it forward. Over to the diesel engine himself, Rick Diesel. Back to Poole. Looking to Poole's first goal. Over to Finn. Back to Poole. Poole might fire here. Finding Stewie. Stewie slides into Diesel. <laughs> diesel going for the push shot. Unfortunately, misfire there on his exhaust pipe and finding only over the crossbar. Tebbit looking at options. A lot better they have from this Khatan Invitational side. Definitely trying to back themselves. Logan Dupree pulling it forward. Casual swim up the pool. Giving it over to Luke Shipway. Shipway does have a shot on him. Will he use it? Taking his time. Opting to try maybe get a foul and shot here. Feeding it into Mustard and Hole. Foul is awarded. Cross goes for a drive. Little intercept from Diesel. Over to Shipway and Mike Stewart comes away with the ball there. Stewie looking to carry. Three on two situation. Diesel thundering himself up the pool. Johnson already there. Big decision for Shipway here. Diesel, great finish into the goal. Fantastic work, well done. Nice, great finish there from the OJ men. Let's see what happens here. Can the Gauteng side get that momentum back in their favor? Regan Fisher passing it back to Dupree. Dupree looking to carry. Moves the ball up the pool. See they're setting up their structures onto Brendan. Brendan has entered the fray. He has scored one already in this game. Back to Logan. Logan looking to carry. Into hole, into Regan. But just a little bit of a wayward pass, maybe a bit too close to him. And Purchase will go on the counter attack. Purchase is away. David Johnson is hard on the counter down the middle. He doesn't see him though. Over to Poole, the mighty number 15. Oh, and a reversal. The Falcon of OJ just being too handy there. You've got Regan Fisher open in front of goals. One on one situation. Is the fishing pole out? Who knows? He big smile on his face. Big decision. Big balk. Big balk. Finishes it. Great goal there from Fisherman Fisher. Love to see it. Nice. Lots more intensity and drive from this Gauteng. Lot more drive from this Gauteng Invitational side. Be interesting to see if they can add some more here. If only they had started the game with the same enthusiasm, it would have been a bit of a closer affair. But let's see here. Nicholas Poole taking it up. Looking at options. Do you have Diesel next to him? Johnson on the other side. Feeds it to Johnson. There's time and space. Dazza applies pressure. Onto Poole. Big book, big book, fires, and Tebbit says no, sir. Two for two, Pool versus Tebbit. Tebbit will claim that one. He's very chuffed with himself there. And they are on the attack, Karting Invitational team. Matthew Cross is open on the left hand side. Can Brendan find him? Deciding to carry it forward. They've opted to play a little bit of a drop here, the OJ men's side. Fantastic to see that they've identified the fisherman as the threat. Tiago on the ball, finds it to Fish, tries a little bit of a flick there. Unfortunately, could not connect with the ball. Luka Rajak will look for the counter-attack. They are open through David Johnson. Long pass, silky and smooth, finds him. Looks to carry. Tiago working exceptionally hard to try cover for the ball. Over to Mangoba. Oh, big balk. And a slight little cheeky backhand there. Short, simple, ticky tacker water polo. We love to see it. OJ is so potent on the counter-attacks. You can see coach Vlado Trinic, the experienced man himself, the Silver Fox, definitely has drilled fitness into the side, which is such a massive, massive factor in a water polo game. Such a strenuous game to play, and they are very well drilled. You can see the chemistry amongst all these players. Thiago finding Brendan. Brendan looking to carry on to Masset. Masset does get fouled outside six. Will he fire, or will he opt to find an option? Plays it over to Daza Salovi. 
Sulovi back to Masset. Big legs there. He is a strong boy. Will he look to fire? Patience. Oh, but just a lack of awareness there. And purchase. Purchase is an intercept. Foul there on him. Quick change of goalies here. Dean Haas has entered the fray. Oh, you don't see this too often. Dean Haas swimming up the pool. Will his foundation of his house be stable on this attack or will it fall to pieces? Dean House looking to carry. He goes for the long range effort. Unfortunately, the scaffolding fell on that one and he missed it. Tebbit goes for the long range shot. It bounces and it trickles in. Oh, Tebbit says, nice try, Dean House. Let me return the favor to your side. Coast, coast to coast. <laughs> coast to coast, we love it. We love a little cheeky goal from a goalie. Good to see it. Dean Aus opting to start in the middle of the pool. Let's see what OJ can muster here. They're going to play a seven on six. Let's see what happens. We love a little bit of a camaraderie. Now, at the end of the day, it is for the love of the game. Both teams having a fun, enjoying the moment. Love to see it. Dean Aus in hole. Mangoba, the Falcon. Maybe we'll look to feed. What will the decision be? On to Johnson, over to Poole. They do have time on their hands. Poole, over to Mangoba. They do have time. <laughs> it looks like they're trying to open a slide here. Poole fires, and he finally slots one in against Tebbit. I wonder if Dean Haas will return to his goals on this defense. Will he stay up? Maybe throw a curveball the way of the Gauteng Invitational men's team. He is taking his time to get there. Maybe a quick play here. Quick play for the shot. Oh, a little bit of a fumble. And the ball is stolen from Mangoba. And he, fantastic defensive awareness. Has a bit of a one-on-one -on -one here. Maybe look to get the penalty. Great slide. Great finish. Very, very consistent there with his one-on-one -on -one shooting. Fantastic work from the Falcon there. Soaring high on the counter-attack to finish. Let's see what the decision is here. Last 20 seconds of this game. It looks like Tebbit will join the attack. Going to try to return the favor of Dean Haas. Caleb goes for a long range effort, but just like Eskom, finding a lack of power in that shot. Dean Haas feeding it over to Diesel. Will the diesel engine fire here? Maybe kickstart a long range goal. He does fire. Tebbit says no, sir. Long range pass. Going, going. And stopped by Dean, the brick Haas. What a game we had here on our gentlemen. Lots of laughs, lots of giggles. It was a fantastic culture game to watch. Youngsters versus senior men. And we shall see you in the next game. The Khatting Invitational Water Polo Tournament.